So the installation of the Master Spa was way less dramatic than I thought it would be. I was envisioning this huge production. We have this bridge situation here, and it was like, how, we, how were we gonna get it through here? It's a little too big, it's 15 feet by eight feet. And they were like, we need a crane. They made one phone call. They came over within the hour, pretty much, and literally it took five minutes for a big crane. The whole neighbor came out, hood came out to see. A big crane took the master spa over this bridge here, and then we, well, I say we, I mean they so kindly rolled it down the hill with using some rollers. And now we're entering my backyard level here. And I had always visioned the master spas being in this little cove back here. This is like our little wooded haven. And so they got it here, they took a little breather. I gave them some nice Gatorade, whatever they needed, Red Bulls I had ready for them. And then they rolled it through this brick area. And I decided in looking at this space that I was initially gonna put the master spas sort of horizontal in this little nook. And then we were like, you know what? We use this to train, relax, recover. We wanna look at the stars sometimes. So we opted to make it more perpendicular, which I've really enjoyed. We had to put a little bit of evening out with some wood from Home Depot and we just really enjoy it. Like, look at this place. We get to look out at the trees and the yard at night when we come here. Every night, we look up at the sky. We love it. We get to use the bubbles. The standing bubbles are right here. The spa part of it is in the back, and then I swim using the VSP jets in the front here.